click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you assalamu alaikum friends this is sami and you're watching civil engineers youtube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i'm gonna show you here steel requirements for rcc elements so this is too much important topic for today and let's get start and yes remember if you subscribe our channel and you don't get notification about any video so you must click the bell icon then you will be able to get notification about civil engineers youtube channel when i upload any video then you will get notification when you subscribe so the uh, bell icon uh, click is too much important for every uh, student okay and don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you need the article about this video so the link is in the description of this video click on that link and also uh, enjoy the article in text form about this video. Let's get started. So, requirements of steel for RCC elements. Okay, so the first one we have requirement of steel for RCC column okay so requirement of steel for rcc column so we required for rcc column steel 115 kg to 145 kg okay 115 kg to 145 kg for one cubic meter concrete okay this is the point for one cubic meter concrete we required for our cc column 115 kg to 145 kg of steel for one cubic meter concrete right so for one cubic meter okay and the second one we have requirement of steel for RCC slab okay requirement of steel for RCC slab right so we required the steel for RCC slab 56 kg to 89 kg for 1 cubic meter concrete okay so this is the second one and third one requirement of steel for RCC beam right so we required the steel for rcc beam okay 115 kg for what for beam okay 115 kg to 125 kg for one cubic meter concrete right okay so now uh, here i will tell you uh, something new about requirement of steel okay notes so this is the cross section area of slab okay keep in your mind this point okay this is the cross sectional area cross section area okay this is the cross section area so now use 0.15% steel of cross section or cross sectional 
area of slab okay so this one is a slab cross sectional okay so this is the cross sectional area so use the steel for the slab so use of steel 0.15% steel of cross sectional area of slab okay don't use less amount of steel from 0.15% of cross sectional area okay so the other one so this is uh, uh, just for the slab okay and second use zero point six percent to zero point eight percent of steel okay cross sectional area of column okay so this is the column top view okay so this is the cross sectional area for the column okay so use the steel 0.6% to 0.8% of steel of x sectional area of column okay so this is too much important for today and also for x section okay so keep in your mind one thing if you have to find out a requirement of steel for rcc column so there we uh, we use 115 kg to 145 kg for one cubic meter okay so if i say suppose i will use uh, uh, one uh, 130 kg of steel okay between these two 130 of kg okay so how you can find out the steel for two cubic meter okay so for one cubic meter we use 115 to 145 okay if i said it i will use 130 kg okay so 130 kg okay so this is one 30 kg okay so 115 kg to 145 kg okay suppose i said that i will use 130 kg of steel for rcc column for one cubic meter okay so multiply two okay so if you have the work for rcc column concrete work okay so one cubic meter here so if i use two cubic meter okay and two, two cubic meter concrete you can use uh, 130 kg of steel okay for two cubic meter it will comes 260 kg of steel are required with or required for the rcc column okay with this formula you can find uh, uh, steel requirements for different elements okay so this is the important topic for today don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends and also press the bell icon uh, press the bell icon for getting notification about any video if you are new so also subscribe this channel for more update videos thank you all the best bye